The estranged wife of the Morgan County Sheriff made her initial court appearance this morning. She's accused of breaking into her former home with a gun and threatening to kill the sheriff and a woman in the bedroom. Our Rich Nye is in Martinsville tonight with what's next for Jacqueline Downey. Jacqueline Downey is free on bond tonight and has permission to leave Indiana until she has to be back at the Morgan County Courthouse. Jacqueline walked with a slight limp with her head down and a bandage on her left wrist. Apparent injury she suffered during a struggle with her estranged husband, Morgan County Sheriff Robert Downey. The couple began a divorce about two years ago. Jacqueline faces five felony charges, including attempted murder, after she allegedly broke into her former home through a window about 1.30 a.m. on Memorial Day. In court records, Mr. Downey stated Jacqueline had gained entry in the home and was in the kitchen pointing a handgun at Mr. Downey. Mr. Downey advised that Jacqueline continued to point the gun at him with her finger on the trigger. A struggle for the gun ensued. And she was uh, bloody from the window that she went through. The window cut her on the way through. So there was a transfer of, of, uh, of uh, bodily fluid there and blood. Um, and, and there were some other things that happened during the struggle, but no shots fired, but both were injured. Jacqueline teaches self-defense to women. The sheriff said he was scratched, bitten, and spit on in the face as he subdued his wife. Teresa Ham was hiding in the bedroom during the attack. Teresa told investigators she heard Jacqueline yelling, I'm going to blow your head off to Robert. State police are handling the investigation, and a special prosecutor will be appointed. It's just awkward, you know, somebody we work with. And in the appearance of, you know, are you being too tough or are you being lenient? It was everything second guess because of relationships. Jacqueline, do you want to say anything? The judge issued a no contact order against Jacqueline for the sheriff and Ham. Jacqueline plans to seek treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder in Florida, then move to Las Vegas to live with her sister. The trial is scheduled for October 2nd. In Martinsville, I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.